Welcome back to ACT, Athletes of Character Training. You can't be considered a great athlete unless you first have great character. Thousands and thousands of athletes have their careers ended because of stubbornness. Now, I'm not talking about being coachable. I'm talking about doing what you don't want to do because it's the right thing to do. I was one of those athletes in high school who was stubborn. I remember I played linebacker for my whole entire career, and I went to a Michigan football camp, and Lloyd Carr, the great Lloyd Carr, came and spoke to me, and he said, I want you to go over and play with the safeties for a day or two. And I didn't want to do it. I didn't say no to him. I just looked at him, I shook my head, but I never went over there. I never went over to play with the safeties because I didn't want to play safety. I wanted to prove to everybody that I can play linebacker. Now, I'm not saying you can't prove people wrong, but this gentleman, this, this, this great coach had great wisdom and he was trying to impart on me his great wisdom, but I didn't want to listen. I was too stubborn to play my natural position. I got to college and yes, I played division one football. I played pro ball. I played for a long period of time. But I, as I look back, hindsight's 2020. I say to myself, could my career have been extended if I had played my natural position? I put on 40-something pounds when I played college ball, and when it came time for my trials, I went from running a 4440 at 200 pounds to running a 4740 at 240 pounds. I could have played for a long time. I could have had more agility. I could have been faster and quicker if I had stayed playing a safety at 200 pounds. I was too stubborn to listen to wisdom. Don't be that athlete. Listen to your coaches, and when they tell you to try something, try it because it just might change your life. The reps are the steps, and when you put enough reps, you will get the reward. Don't be stubborn. Rep out.